From the initial Wehrmacht operations in Spain to the conquest of the whole European continent, you shall lead the Blitzkrieg, the Lightning War. The time has come to deal with Poland. France and Britain will have to pay for the disgrace of the Treaty of Versailles. The battles from Norway to North Africa and from the British Isles to the Soviet Union are awaiting you. Using the power of your aerial and naval forces, take over the Atlantic and the Mediterranean. Britain should part with the role of mistress of the sea. Having seized Europe, you will receive the key to the Drenga Korsten, crush the hordes of the hated Bolsheviks in the fire of unprecedented battles. Eich will finally establish its power over the continent by occupying the territories from the Atlantic to the Urals and from Norway to North Africa. The world is waiting for a new order led by the Groys Deutschland. He is one of the best in the Wehrmacht, an audacious and risk-averse commander. He prefers to lead from the front lines, moving along with the rapid. He is elusive and is capable of delivering immediate strikes. Due to his flair and finesse, he was nicknamed the Desert Force. He skillfully uses tricks on the battlefield. He invented the tactic of shooting enemy tanks using anti-aircraft artillery. He enjoys the greater credibility of the Reich, and he has an unquestionable authority in his troops. Within the enemy ranks, Rommel is considered a superhuman and has attributed supernatural powers. Schnelle Heinz, Fast Heinz, the king of the tank war. He received his nickname for his ability to destroy enemy troops at an incredibly fast pace. He was the creator of the Wehrmacht's tank forces and of the very theory of police wing. Darren is a second to none in the art of motorized warfare. His tanks advanced at an unthinkable pace for the enemy, blocking communications, destroying headquarters and spraying panic to the enemy's rear. Not only Schnellerheins excelled in his battles, but thanks to his airports, the course of the tank production in Reich has increased drastically. Perhaps the greatest mind of the Urban Commando, German General Headquarters, is considered to be one of the most gifted generals of the Wehrmacht, the master of Blitzkrieg, and a proficient master of war tactics. His technical skills and first-hand knowledge of the tactical situation is impeccable. Even the most powerful opponents panic under my size brilliant operation capabilities. He has a rare combination of intelligence as a headquarters officer and the determination of the frontline commander. Under my size leadership, the entire military machine works like a clockwork, and any armed force becomes as efficient as it can be. He is one of the best in the Wehrmacht, an audacious and risk-averse commander.
icons next to a unit allow you to quickly get important information about it. If the selected unit does not move during the current turn, the canister icon will be green. If it moves, the icon will be grey. Similarly, the cartridge icon shows if the unit has made an attack during this move. The red color of icons indicates that either the fuel or ammo in that particular unit has been depleted. Your army is comprised of the core and auxiliary forces. You can distinguish between the two by the color of the figures denoting the strength of the unit. A core unit is indicated by green color. An auxiliary unit is indicated by yellow. The auxiliary forces are given for one mission only. The core forces will accompany you for the campaign, gaining strength and battle. You will be able to improve them and equip them with additional equipment. These units are the ones that should be primarily protected. Infantry solidifies the success achieved by the rest of the forces. Use infantry units to escort tanks, assault and defend cities, as well as for special missions in mountainous and wooded terrain. This is the only type of troop that can fire to the Bombers are flying artillery to clear the way for our tanks. They can provide emergency support for the ground forces wherever needed. Do not leave your bombers without protection. Troops crossing water barriers are very vulnerable. There is no enemy nearby before they do, or provide protection for them during crossing. While in all troops except infantry lose their fighting ability. Recon units are able to seek out the enemy from afar, and can also locate ambush sites. You can give the reconnaissance unit the order to advance more than once per turn, as long as you still have movement points. Once the reconnaissance sees the enemy, it automatically stops, and then it can move towards any direction. This is extremely important in an offensive, since it provides you full awareness about the presence of the enemy unit, thus making your attack more effective. heavy losses. You need to land it on an airfield for refueling. This unit is on a verge of a station that is connected by the railway to our primary depot in order for it to be reinforced. This is an enemy unit. If the intelligence level allows it, you can obtain comprehensive information about it by right-clicking on the
Artillery is the basis of the firepower of the troops. It can pave the way for maneuvering forces or weaken the enemy's attack through artillery fire support. Due to the long firing range of artillery, it can inflict damage on enemy units beyond the firing range. Use artillery barrage before assaulting enemy fortified positions. Remember though, artillery is vulnerable to ground and aerial attacks, so it needs to be protected. As an officer, you must lead your troops from the front. Your unit has been withdrawn from the support. The delivery of supplies to the unit has been stopped. This unit will not last long on its own supplies. Fighter planes are needed for gaining air superiority, as well as for protecting ground forces and bomber aircraft. Keep your fighter planes close to the units they need. Enemy aircraft will return fire as soon as they are attacked. Air weaponry also allows fighters to attack ground targets, although with a low efficiency. Infantry units can easily hide themselves from attacks and shelling in urban, wooded and mountainous areas. Destroying enemy armor is much easier here than in the open field. Echelon troops will deliver ammo to the units during the supply phase. This panel displays information about the enemy. As you get closer to the enemy, your troops receive an increasing amount of data. First, they will pinpoint the location of an unidentified unit. Then they will identify its type. And finally, they will obtain detailed information about it. The more you know about the enemy, the easier it is for you to attack it. Intelligence can be obtained faster during close combat with the enemy, or by joint observation of enemy positions by several units. Here you can view detailed information about your unit, its experience level, specifications, skills and special abilities, its strength, its ammo and fuel quantity, 
and its availability of additional weapons and vehicles. This target is protected by... Mantuwafu is the basis of the Wehrmacht. Tanks are here and the tank forces have an advantage of tenacity and speed. Use them to quickly capture enemy positions, bridge through the enemy defenses, pursue and annihilate the souls in cities into positions of enemy high losses in tank units. Fuel tanks are empty. The unit cannot move. Logistical services will supply with fuel during the supply phase. Cities, mountainous and wooden terrain. In the event of a clash with the enemy, the tanks will sustain heavy losses.
Four garrisons target the area and open fire on the, of the enemy. There is no need to attack it with aim. Shall the bomb it from the air. The fort can also be outflanked from the rear, since it can only fly around the area of three hexagons in front of it. Your aircraft is running out of fuel. You need to land on the airfield for refueling.
Enemy depot is now in our hands, but has been completely destroyed. We will be able to use depot supplies for our troops only after it has been repaired. You have captured an enemy supply depot. You can now use it to supply our troops. Houses protect troops within their operational zone. In the event of an enemy attack on our troops, they will respond with artillery fire to support them. Our aircraft may now use this airfield. 